What's up everybody? Trying Man Guns here again and today we are talking about what to stock up on in the 2016 gun ban, gun scare election year. So number one, a lot of people are going to think that it is this guy. This is 5.56 ammunition, 223 Remington. And I just want to start this off by saying this is not what you need to stock up on. Ammo will be scarce, but it will not disappear. Something that you guys should be more concerned about would be these guys. Or if you're from a slightly older generation, these guys. <laughs> so, why do you want to stock up on 30 round magazines? Or standard capacity magazines, depending on who you talk to. And that is because these can actually get banned. You've seen it all around the world, all around the nation, where people can no longer own 30 round magazines and they are restricted to 10, 15 round, 10 or 15 round magazines. So because of this, that's why I think you should stock up on these 30 rounders because th there's a real chance that these could be eliminated from commercial use, not commercial use, commercial use, from civilian use, civilian applications, civilian basically anything. You might have to be an FFL holder to possess these in the future. Now, I'm not trying to be an alarm, alarmist. I'm not trying to say that these will get banned. I just want to say that there is a slight chance that they might get banned, which is why I went out and purchased a bunch of these. I think right now I have around, I want to say 30 PMAGs. I have six PMAGs that are opened that I use. This is one of them. I, don't, I haven't really run this one that much, but I have around 30 that I have that I bought because of the election year. And another thing you have to realize is I didn't overpay for these PMAGs. I got these PMAGs at a great deal. I paid around 12, I, I know what I paid. I paid $12.47 for each PMAG and shipping was $10 flat. So I'll show you one of my recent purchases. It came in three hours ago, I think. Well, I just came back home and it was on my doorstep. And it is this. <sighs> so this is just, I wouldn't call it a large box, I wouldn't call it a small box either. But this is just a box full of these 30 round PMAX. I think I purchased 15 of these from that store. 15 times 12.47 plus $10. I got a great deal on them. I paid probably close to thirteen twenty a magazine, so I got a great deal on them, and I didn't have to pay tax. If I bought these at my local Cabela's, since these are the windowed ones, I'd be paying around eighteen dollars plus tax, maybe closer to twenty. And because I didn't pay tax, because I got these at such a great deal, it was just sort of a no-brainer. I could easily sell these for $15 on arms list, on Craigslist, and just instantly get my money money back, as well as a little, a little something more. So it pays to look for these. It pays to buy these. I mean, I'm gonna just go pull, I'm just gonna pull these guys out and you'll see the total of how many PMAGs that I have. Because the other ones, they're just pretty close to me. They're just in the closet. You can see, yes, this was just stuffed with PMAGs. I have these two that are, these three that are open. I'm gonna put these off to the side for a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out so I can get all of the PMAGs in there. So there's 15 right here. I'm gonna go pull out another 17, I think. We'll see. Here's another handful. Yep, so I think this is all of the PMAGs that I have. Well, I have another three loaded in my go bag. But, so, this is around 30 PMAGs, I want to say. A little more than 30. But, yeah, so, the 2016 election year, what do you want to buy? PMAGs. 
You guys all know it's hit, it's gonna be Clinton versus Trump. Bernie Sanders has been gone for a long ass time. I don't know why he was in the race for so long. He should have left and John Kasich left. But realistically, there's a high chance that Clinton will be elected. I wanna say that like 55%, 55% chance Hillary, Hillary will be elected, which means that there's a 55%, which means there's a 100% chance that the value of these PMAGs will go up. And realistically, probably like a 10% chance that, she, well, there's gonna be a 50, if she is elected, she is gonna to try to go after these magazines. And then, you know what? These guys will start costing a lot more money. As you guys know, honestly, was it like 2012 or, 20, or 2008? The cost of PMAGs went up. Like, first of all, you would not find PMAGs. You, you might be able to find like maybe first gen or just GI mags for 20 bucks a piece like this guy, which is not even anti-tilt followers. These mags are complete trash. I would not recommend these. And you saw those mags going for around 20 bucks a piece. And P mags would easily reach $30, $40 each. And especially these guys with the windows, people like these windows. Granted, if they are, I mean, if you see a P mag for 30 bucks, you see a P mag with a window also for 30 bucks, obviously you're gonna buy the, buy the one for, with the window. So if you are trying to resell these, when election time does come around, having a window will definitely put you over the edge of other people that are bulk buying normal P mags. And yeah, so why did I buy this many PMAX? Because I know it's a, it's like money in the bank, you know? Except like less liquid and more bannable. But I know that it's gonna hold its value. It's not gonna go down in value because I paid $12.47 for them. So there's no way I'm gonna lose money on this. And if they do get banned, well shit, if they make me turn them in, fuck me, right? But yeah, I mean, Realist, realistically, they also have to compensate you. And if the MSRP on these guys is 18 bucks, they give me 18 bucks a piece back for these. You know what? I made five bucks on each one of them. Made 150 bucks right there, even if there was a ban. But you know what? I think that Generation 3 PMAGs with the window are a great investment for the 2016 election because as I said earlier, they can be banned. Now this is only for accessories. This is not including 80% lower receivers, lower receivers in general. I also recommend buying those just because, you know what, they're a lower receiver. If you can build an AR with them later, you're gonna wanna build an AR with them later. But with those, you can run into the California restrictions of where they require a bullet button or something and I don't wanna deal with that. And another reason why I wouldn't recommend ammo is that ammo cannot be banned but you know what they might increase the price on them which is not good but you know what it could be worse so the reason why magazines they can buy they, they can ban magazines but they can't ban ammo all right guys trying to man guns if you like my philosophy of thought with purchasing these magazines if you want to know where I purchased these magazines at 1247 a pop go to the link down below they just got back in stock three hours ago I think they, they, they get them in stock once a week. They sell out that same week. I don't know if we're going to purchase more magazines. I'm pretty well set, as you can see. Anything more than this, I think, is a little excessive. I'm going to get too lazy to sell them. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm a lazy guy, if you haven't noticed. So, yeah, that's what I recommend for this 2016 election year. Go out, buy your magazines, buy your PMAGs, because... They're, they're like maybe a few dollars more expensive than these GI magazines, but they run so much better. They feel so much better and they just look way cooler. And you got this window. So run out, buy your PMAGs, resell your PMAGs if you want to. Realistically, I, I, I only have, well, I only have one gun with me that shoots 5.56. That's my SCAR 16. So depending on your train of thought, you might only need 10 of these PMAGs, which I have way well more way more than I need but you know what I'm purchasing these P mags as an investment in myself as an investment for the election year like I realistically I think I'm too lazy to sell these P mags even if it is for 30 bucks $15 a mag at a time really isn't worth my time because I'm lazy I have to drive out I have to meet some stranger but yeah so P 
PMAGs, run out, buy them. Great investment. You can always use them. You can always resell them. And if they do get banned, they're probably going to get corrupt. I mean, there's a real chance that they're going to get grandfathered in. And then you have a little gold mine. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier in the little political debate. Hillary Clinton, that name might sound familiar. You guys all know Bill. You guys all know he was the main proprietor between the Bill Clinton little insane gun ban, banning guns based off how they looked. What the fuck? So I, I'm, and Hillary's a woman, you know, she might pull that same bullshit. I'm a little sexist, I'll be honest with you guys. But yeah, okay guys. What else do I need to say? Why not buy our PMAGs? If you like this con content, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm gonna post a link down to these PMAGs down below. I think I might buy some more PMAGs. I think I'm gonna buy, I'm, post, I'm getting off, track, off topic. The links down below. Make sure you like, comment. If you don't like, make if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, make sure you hit that thumbs down button and leave a comment telling me why you disliked it. If it's my philosophy, if it's because I'm buying up all these magazines, make sure you tell me. You know.